you guys are aware of the main bridges. Yeah. Halova, um, Belkan, Bel China, Swing Bridge. We are aware of the hundreds. We have a program where we are trying to, 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 to change all the old wooden bridges to concrete bridges. Because once we do it, that's 20, 30 years, you don't have to worry about it. We are in the process of doing that in the rural areas. Um, we are presently in communication with CDB right now. Um, we had a meeting with our technical staff, CEO and, his, and the chief engineer with CDB to look at the... We had a feasibility study done for the Belmopan to Belize City or Belize City to Belmopan, depending where you're coming out from. That project includes the Swing Bridge and, and, and the Belkan. Um, we have gone out to seek financing from other lending institutions, but CDB, we are, it's like family to us. They're, we are them, they're us. And they're interested. And they're saying, come on guys, um, let's sit down. It's a project that, that we want to help finance. They helped it with the coastal. Mm -hmm. They are presently doing the majority of the financing for the Ramata, the Northern mm -hmm. Highway. And that is a, a very, very important project for the country of Belize. Um, you guys travel that highway, you know how dangerous it is. So what does it accomplish if we achieve it? One, the, 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 the replacement of the two bridges, which is Swing Bridge and Belkan, which are in a state of deterioration structurally that um, it's a shame. We have to deal with it. The, the flood mitigation of the city, the road will do drainage in the, in the, the Cisco area, where, mm -hmm. where Cisco has Old Belize, yeah. um, in the Hattieville area, to be able to, there was an IDB study that recommended that we divert the water coming out from the Belize River and, and, and the other estuaries before it reaches Belize City, through the Burton Canal. And so that is a part of the project. So two, um, flood mitigation. And three, we are elevating the road to what we call, this is a technical engineering term, climate resilience. As an engineer, I love use it, and I, I've learned to use it because it's important. It just means that we have to raise the level of the road to make sure that it, it, it can withstand more rains, more floods, um, and um, safety.